what is this strange object I see before me? Could it be a new enclosure? Why yes, I think it is. Yeah, I was in the fish shop the other day and I saw these multifunctional aquariums and tanks. And there's a snazzy little picture on here somewhere of lots of things you can keep in there. And also one of them has a spider in it. That one on top. So I thought to myself, well, I know our boreal teas normally need cross ventilation, but actually these little tanks have um, a really nice open mesh lid. So plenty of ventilation in there, especially if it's a smaller spider, it's not too cramped in there. I think it's gonna be okay. So I decided to buy one, it was really cheap. Uh, I think I spent 13 pounds on it, which is way cheaper than any other glass terrarium I could find online for the size that it is. Um, I know there's a few acrylic um, enclosure makers out there who do it as a kind of part-time hobby thing, um, but even those were coming up more expensive than that from my research. So when I saw these, I thought, well, look, there's a few of them. I'll, I'll just grab one, see how it goes, and, um, and rehouse my Trinidad Chevron, the uh, Selmo PS Cambridge I, into it. Um, so yeah, what's gonna follow is uh, just the process of the setup. Um, unfortunately, I messed up the actual transfer because the camera battery ran out. So you'll see part of that, um, but essentially I dumped the spider into the enclosure and that was it. She's, um, she, he is a very calm tarantula. So in the end, it was no problem at all. Um, yeah, so check it out. So obviously I had a bit of a disaster because the camera stopped just at the point where I was going to move the tarantula into its new enclosure. Um, 
obviously from the footage you can see that I tried to use my um, my new bottle funnel. Um, the idea of those is, is they have holes in the side and you put them over the, over the tarantula in the enclosure or just over the enclosure exit. Use a stick to encourage the tarantula into the top of the bottle, move the bottle into the new enclosure and then encourage it to leave into the new enclosure. Um, but the problem with this was, although my Trinidad Chevron is very nervous, it's not actually a defensive tarantula, so it just runs around. So I figured out actually that if you're gentle, you can just pick the old um, wood tube out with all the webbing and the spider on it and just dump it straight into the new enclosure, encourage the tarantula to walk off and job done. So in the end, I didn't use my new funnel at all. I will use it on future rehousing videos, I'm sure. Um, but this was actually a lot easier than I thought it was going to be. So yay for my spider. Um, the other thing I have to point out is that I did uh, change my mind about the setup. So I worked out that actually the cork bar that I put in um, was too big to let the spider really get around it because I'd like the spider to stay in this enclosure for a long time and grow in there and there wasn't enough gap around the bark for the spider to be as a kind of sub-adult to for it to get around behind the bark so I took a load of that off I also uh, moved changed the water dish for a smaller one so the spider's got no chance of kind of dunking itself in the bigger water bowl and uh, moved the water bowl to the front just to make it easier for me to access because I figured the spider would spend more time behind the cork bark which it probably will until it settles in um, so yeah that's all you need to know anyway uh, here's the Here's the update on what it looks like now and um, a bit of footage of the beautiful, beautiful Trinidad Chevron in its enclosure.